Hi everyone, Keisha Greenings here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how I do my everyday facial routine from how I go to this to my full blown beautiful everyday look. Today I'm going to be showing you guys, um, it's going to be like a series almost, but I'm going to put it all in a playlist so you guys can see it all at once. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do my foundation, I'm going to be showing you guys how to overdraw the lips, how I do my brows how I put my blushing powders on, and I think I might do a liner look as well. But it's all going to be all together on the playlist. I'm just going to be breaking it down into sections. That way you all can focus on one part of my face that I'm doing at a time. So first off, I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how I apply my foundation. My skin has already been washed and moisturized. And now I'm just going to be using my travel size um, Smashbox Primer. This is their, well, all their products are for a finish, but this is a foundation primer. And of course, that's perfect because today we're applying foundation. Yes, I do get my ears under the eyes, well, around here, I'm starting the center. You really want to apply this from the center outwards and focus a lot of the product where you crease at the most. Okay, so primer is done. Next, I'm going to go in with my Elf Studio brush. This is a small stippling brush, and today I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is their dewy and soft formula because I do have dry skin. And um, I also have their matte and poreless, but um, I'm just going to be using the dewy one today. And I'm just going to gently um, stipple this in. Also, I am in the color... Um, Mocha, which is 360. Now, because I am dark skin, you would think I would probably go for the 365. No, 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 no. Because I have orange tones in my skin. So I really wanted to get the 365 because they have orange tones. And I'm just going to apply this all over my motherfucking face. Yes. And I'm going to be getting my neck as well because yeah I mean now we blend to win and I love this brush because it gives me such an airbrush finish it's really soft okay now that I have my mirror I'm just gonna look up closely so I can make sure I'm putting this all in Okay, all done. Also, <coughs> excuse me, I'm recovering from a cold. Also, I'm going to take my beauty blender in. Yes, I use a beauty blender now. I know y'all think, oh my god, you say it was never going to use one, I know. And also, I wanted to show you guys, it's really small at first. I think that's so cool. But when you dab it in your water, it enlarges. And this thing does not hold water at all. So that's never going to be a worry. This does not retain water. It becomes perfectly damp. Now look how big it is. Boom. And I'm just going to use this to really press it in and give me that pore light finish. Oh. Now, beauty blenders are not all that, so if you can't afford it, please don't try to splurge and get it. I just got one because I feel like if I'm going to be a makeup artist, I need to have, you know, the latest and newest trends or whatever, but you don't really have to have that. It's not much of a difference from using my sponge. Only thing is my sponge will hold water more than this would. And, um, it also blends nice when, like, if you have a product, the sponge can nicely pick up that product and put it somewhere else. This, that product is going to stay exactly there. So it just depends, like, what you really want to use, the pros and cons of using this. But it's okay. I like it, kind of. Alright, you guys. So, lastly, to finish off this foundation portion of my quote-unquote series video, I am just going to take a little bit of my, well, let me put the top back on so you can see it. 
my Makeup Forever HD translucent powder. And I'm just doing this not to really set the face. Well, I am doing this to set the face, but I'm doing it lightly with my Kabuki brush. And um, this is just gonna like set my foundation slightly because of course I'm gonna go in and like highlight and contour and things like that. So it's just a little slight, you know, setting. That way everything can stay in place and things like that. Or maybe you want to go straight into your um highlight contour. It's really up to you. Makeup is individual. It's no right or wrong. Well, of course, it's tips and tricks to it. But it's no really right or wrong way. It's all up to you and what you prefer and what you like to do. And this is just the routine I like to do to apply my foundation. Now, um, if you wanted to, you could do two layers. I just didn't want to do one today. I didn't want nothing really heavy on my skin. I mean, this is pretty light, but I just wanted like minimum to full coverage. I didn't want to go full blown like full coverage. I mean, caked up. But um, yeah, you guys, this is how I apply my foundation. Please stay tuned for my next videos where I show you guys how I put on my brows. So I guess I see you guys there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!